Welcome to Coin Geek Backstage. This is Nidhi Aurora. I'm here with the George Gilder, the economist, a famous author, and the technology advocate. How are you doing today, George? I'm doing great. It's about time. Don't you think that we had Bitcoin SV? We know that you've been to previous Coin Geek conferences, and you're here at Coin Geek New York today. So, what do you think is different at this conference prior to other conferences? I think to celebrate that uh, Satoshi vision is now manifest in a level of transactions that dwarfs the level of transactions of Bitcoin, uh, the BTC. Everybody uh, focuses on the market cap of Bitcoin, which is $900 billion, you know, almost a trillion dollar market cap for BTC Bitcoin, but that's as a flight as a flight uh, harbor uh, from uh, the perils of the world. It's people hodling, as they call it, holding on for dear life. Well, you don't get ahead by holding on for dear life. You get you get ahead by inventing new things, uh, using money as a measuring stick for your own achievements and Bitcoin SV is now taken off in the transactional field. They now have two billion byte uh, blocks and uh, they they're really unlimited with what you can do on it and that's and uh, big memory resources it's based on Moore's law and Moore's law is a platform for uh, constant creativity on into the future. Yes, you are absolutely right. BSV has hit, you know, record block size, uh, records on a public blockchain. So for those who think blockchain is a glorified database and they do not see the value add, what would you say to them? Well, I think blockchain allows the creation of real money again. What we're using today is not real money with no interest rates and $8 trillion of currency trading every day. That's the biggest industry in the world economy is currency trading. And it's uh, 70 times more than all trade in goods and services. And it doesn't even, and it still takes five days to settle most of these uh, transactions. Blockchain restores a new global money for the first time since 1971 when um, uh, Nixon went off the gold standard. We had world money under the gold standard and it got abandoned. And this is the new digital gold standard. And it, it uh, restores truth to money again. Yes, you're right. Blockchain is the new gold standard. Thank you for saying that. Love that. So the actions of countries like India and China that are either threatening to ban or are banning digital assets and currencies, do you think it's a short-term snag or do you think that will persist for a long time? They, uh, China is not banning blockchain or, or digital money. China is the world's leading country in producing digital money. You know, they have an almost cashless economy today and they are launching a new uh, central bank digital currency on a national blockchain. And if they achieve this, it will compete with uh, Satoshi's Bitcoin. It could obviate it if they really let it, if they really did it honestly. When the Chinese government adopts blockchain, when Bank of America embraces blockchain, and they did a big paper which endorsed blockchain as crucial to the future of Bank of America. It's really over. A blockchain will be the foundation of the next global money. And, uh, and that's a big breakthrough because it obviates, it removes this biggest industry in the world economy, a worthless industry of shuffling currencies at $8 trillion a day. And that's up 50% over the last four years while the world economy went into a slump, while uh, we had trade wars and and uh, monetary conflicts, um, 
the amount of currency trading went up 50 percent. It's an egregious scandal of money, and blockchain and the Bitcoin Satoshi vision will ultimately be the solution of it. I know that they have been acting very tough on specific digital currency exchanges, so what do you think of that? Well, there's no question, question even if uh, it's a you know a totalitarian re regime that uh, intervenes all the time. Nonetheless, blockchains intrinsically support individual rights. They anchor identities in a ground state uh, attached to the, a global uh, distributed ledger and. And so it may be, you know, governments can always do outrageous things. And uh, it doesn't matter whether what the money is, uh, they can send, the, send in the troops or the drone or the, or the cops or the gall lighters or whatever it is. Governments can do that kind of thing. So you, you shouldn't imagine that a blockchain can solve all those problems. Of course it can. But it, but it can uh, create a basis of truth, both for the global internet and uh, the global money. Removing the porous pyramid of, of internet communications and the Ponzi scheme of global money and uh, establishing a, a new basis for a new golden era of, of um, prosperity and opportunity. I really like the way you said blockchain is the basis of truth. And my last question here would be for you is, if there was one takeaway for people seeing you here at CoinGeek New York, what would that be? Wealth is knowledge. It, there's no uh, scarcity of resources. Uh, as Thomas Sowell says, the Neanderthal in his cave had all the natural resources we have today. The difference between our age and the Stone Age is entirely the growth of knowledge. That's what it is. And, uh, and uh, if wealth is knowledge, growth is learning. And that's what economies do by having everybody competing with different hypotheses and business plans. They're in processes of learning, learning curves. And money is what governs all this, this learning activity. It's, it's time. Really, when, when, when it comes down to it, every economic transaction is governed by time. And what uh, real money does is offer a, token, a tokenized time that allows you to have the effect of time, the constraint of time, propagated through every transaction in the global economy. And this is really, and uh, what Bitcoin SV is doing is reestablishing time as the basis of truth in the global economy. Time stamp server was what, uh, what uh, Craig Wright Satoshi uh, invented. And time is truth. It's what remains scarce when everything else grows abundant is the speed of light and the span of life. And those were the closing words of George Gilder, wealth is knowledge and Time is truth. Thank you so much for your time, George. I really appreciate it.
Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.